Hello, James here from Curo. During this video, I'm going to show you the following features on the desktop client. How to make a call. How to transfer a call. How to put a call on hold. How to invite other people to join the call. How to pause and stop call recordings. And finally, how to listen to your voicemail. To make a call, click the phone icon at the top left hand corner. This will reveal your dial pad. To dial the number, you can use the on-screen dial pad or you can type the numbers in on your keyboard. Once you've done this, push the green call button. Once you've finished on the call, just push the hang up button. During a call, you are able to transfer the call to another member of your team. To do this, click the transfer button. You can type in their name or their extension. Click transfer to transfer the call straight away or click supervised to speak to the person before you put the call through. During a call you have the facility to put the call on hold. To do this, click the hold button. When you're ready to continue the call, click the resume button. During a call you are able to invite others to join the call. To do this, click the invite icon at the top. Type in the name of the person you wish to invite. This will then call the person's extension and then add them to the call. With GDPR being very important, you've got the facility to pause and stop your call recordings. To do this, during a call, you can click the pause icon at the bottom. This will allow you to receive any confidential information. To resume the call recording, click the play icon. If you wish for the call recording to stop altogether, you can click the stop icon in the middle. If you have a new voicemail, your voicemail icon will flash like this. To listen to the voicemail, click the voicemail icon. This will show you all your new voicemails. Click on the new voicemail and then click the play icon. Hi James, it's Joe here. Could you give me a call back when you're free? Thanks. Once it's finished, you have the option to play it again, delete the voicemail, move to old messages, save to disk, or call the person who left the voicemail.